10 Best Places to Visit in Liberia Hello Displorers, welcome back to another exciting video presented to you by Displore and thanks for watching. In this video we shall be taking you on the coast of West Africa and we shall be shining a light on the 10 best places to visit on the land of Free Liberia. Officially the Republic of Liberia, it is a country on the West African coast. It is bordered by Sierra Leone, Guinea, Ivory Coast and the Atlantic Ocean to its south and southwest. It has a population of about 5 million people and covers an area of 111,369 square kilometers. English is the official language, but over 20 indigenous languages are spoken, representing the numerous ethnic groups who make up more than 95% of the population. The country's capital and largest city is Moronvia. If you are new here, welcome, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our uploads. Though its reputation as a travel destination is tarnished by painful history of civil war, disease and rentless poverty, Liberia is currently peaceful and striving for better days. The jungles are dense, the beaches are gorgeous and the people, best of all, are friendly and welcoming. So in no particular order, here are the top 10 best places to visit in Liberia. Starting off at number 1, we have Gola National Park. The Gola National Park, also known as Forest of Hope, is an upper Guinea forest of West Africa with one of the world's priority biodiversity hotspots. It covers over 40,000 hectares and extends from Guinea and Sierra Leone in the west through Liberia, Côte d'Ivoire, Ghana and to Togo in the east. In addition to the unique habitat it provides for wildlife, the forests are of vital importance for the livelihoods of millions of West Africans and provide key ecosystem services of local and global importance. Liberia's Upper Guinea forests are exceptionally diverse with very high rates of endemism. The Gola National Forest is one of the largest remaining intact areas of seasonal dense moist evergreen and semi-deciduous forests in the whole region. Recent surveys have also led to the discovery of several species known to science, including six dragonfly and damselfly species, three butterfly species, one frog species and possibly one mammal species as there is still more to discover. It is the second largest area of primary tropical rainforest in West Africa after Thai National Park in neighboring Côte d'Ivoire. Number 2. Santa Rosa National Park Santa Rosa was originally a farm located in the northwestern Guanacaste province in Costa Rica. Today, an older hacienda building, La Casona, functions as a monument commemorating the fall of flibuster William Walker and his professional mercenaries to a local peasant army in 1856. The hacienda Santa Rosa, known locally as La Casona, meaning a large house in Spanish. This monument, marking the today's La Casona, is a museum dedicated to the memory of the battle. The tour will allow you to stop by and explore this historical site. Number 3. Robert's Port Welcome to Robert's Port, framed by gold spawn beaches, phosphorescent waves and a thick named forest. This pretty capital of Grand Cape Mount, which was just a fishing village a few years ago, has largely retained its simple paradise found feel. Now as you emerge from the Ross Red Roads and wind your way through the old town with its architecture in various states of undress. Robert's Port Town, about 10 miles from the Sierra Leone border, is named after Joseph Jenkins Roberts, the first president of Liberia. Robert's Port is a spit of land separating the brackish lagoon Lake Piso from the Atlantic Ocean about 80 km northwest of Monrovia. In the mid-15th century, the Portuguese navigator Pedro de Sintra reached the Cape, a 1,000-foot-high granite promontory, which he named Cabo do Monte, Cape Mount. Cape Mount was the site of Dutch trading post, which turned out to be very hard to defend. The post never became self-sufficient and habitually required assistance from the station at Elmina, about 750 miles away by sea. Fortunately, Theodor Cannot, a writer and slave trader, established a settlement in the area in 1840. In 1849, the Liberian government signed a treaty with the Vai people, acquiring the territory of Cape Mount and subsequently founding Robert's Port in 1856. Number 4. Buchanan Buchanan, also called Grand Bazaar, is the third largest city in Liberia, lying on Waterhouse Bay, part of the Atlantic Ocean. Founded by Thomas Buchanan, cousin of US President James Buchanan and second governor of Liberia, it lies 110 kilometers southeast of Monrovia, near the mouth of St. John River. The town was popular with refugees during the Liberian Civil War as it largely escaped the fighting. Fishing is an important industry in the town. The town also has isolated beaches and lagoon. Moreover, Buchanan is a port for the 250km railway that exported iron ore, rubber, palm oil and canal. Going on to number 5, National Museum of Liberia. The National Museum of Liberia is a national museum in Monrovia, Liberia. Initially housed in the first executive mansion on Ashmoon Street of the city, which is now used as a library. It was established by an act of the National Legislature in 1958 under the administration of Liberia's 18th President, Dr. William V. S. Turkman. Partly funded by UNESCO in coordination with the Department of Public Instructions, now known as the Liberian Ministry of Education. 
Its primary goal was to obtain, preserve and display cultural artifacts and other historical items which depicts the country's heritage. Number 6. Blue Lake When the Liberian Mining Company began to abandon its operations in Bomi County in northwestern Liberia, it left behind a series of pit mines. But as nature began to reclaim these scars in the Bomi Hills, one of the pits filled with water, creating a beautiful blue lake. Despite being stuck up in the hills and isolated from any obvious source of water, the 300 foot deep pit began to fill with water, likely fed by a spring somewhere down below. By the end of the 1990s, the lake looked like a totally natural formation, and in 2007, Senator Richard Devin, in whose constituency the lake was situated, began to promote the wonders of what he viewed as a natural phenomenon and a wonderful sight to behold. One thing is certain about this lake, continued the senator, whether rain or shine, it never rises above its banks, nor does it dry. The water level is absolutely stable, it's a wonderful sight, a haven for hotel and casino development, and of course, water sports. Senator Delvin's enthusiasm certainly helped draw attention to the Blue Lake, named for its clear blue waters, but so far, hotels and casinos have not yet been set up around the lake. Number 7. Bushrod Island Bushrod Island is an island near Monrovia, Liberia, surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean, the St. Paul River, the Mesurado River, and Stockholm Creek. It contains the free port of Monrovia, the major national port of Liberia, and a variety of businesses. It also contains numerous residential areas and government buildings. There are three towns on the island, New Crew Town, Logan Town, and Clara Town. However, it is mostly a low-lying mangrove swamp. A bushrod island was occupied by the Dei people from the 16th century until the early 19th century. Gawolun was the chief town of the day on the island and served as the capital of the day when King Peter was selected as chief spokesman for his fellow day chiefs in 1819. In the late 1820s, the community of New Georgia was established on Bushrod Island by people who had been freed from a slave ship in 1820 and kept in Georgia in the United States until 1827. In 1878, a community of Vai people called Vai Town by Williams was located on Bushrod Island across the Mesurado River from Monrovia. While a few miles up the river on the island, the community of New Georgia had about 500 residents. Bushrod Island contains the artificial harbor and the free port of Monrovia, the only such port in West Africa. As a national center of commerce and transportation, it attracts petroleum, paint, tuna, pharmaceutical and cement enterprises. Number 8. Mount Nimba Mount Richard Mollard, also known as Mount Nimba, located on the borders of Guinea, Liberia and Côte d'Ivoire, rises above the surrounding savanna. Its slopes are covered by dense forests at the foot of Grassy Mountain. They harbor an especially rich flora and fauna, with endemic species such as the viviparous toad and chimpanzees that use stones as tools. A veritable water tower with about 50 springs between the Côte d'Ivoire and Guinea, the Mount Nimba Strict Nature Reserve is dominated by a chain of mountains that culminate at 1,752 meters altitude, extending over a total area of 17,540 hectares, with 12,540 hectares in Guinea and 5,000 hectares in Côte d'Ivoire, the property is integrated into the public domain of the two states. This reserve contains original and diverse species of the most remarkable animal and plant populations, not only in West Africa, but also in the entire African continent, notably threatened species such as the Micropotamogale of Mount Nibia. Number 9. Greenville Greenville, also known as Senor Cree, is the capital of Sinoe County in southeastern Liberia and lies on a lagoon near the Sinoe River and the Atlantic Ocean. It is located about 150 miles southeast of Monrovia. It is a beautiful little city with sprawling deserted beaches, friendly people and is a day trip away from some of Liberia's most off-the-path attractions. A horde of bronze crew currency rings discovered in the Sinoe River at Greenville is now in the British Museum. This town was built in about 1838 by colonists of the Mississippi Colonization Society, part of what was then the Mississippi in Africa colony, now Sinoe County. Greenville was named after George James Green, one of the first Mississippi Delta planters to send a group of former slaves to Liberia. Though destroyed in the Liberian Civil War, but has since been rebuilt around a port for the local logging industry. Before the Civil War, the town's main exports were lumber, rubber, and agricultural products. Greenville has the third largest port in Liberia. The port has two quays, 70 meters and 180 meters long, respectively, on the inner side of the breakwater for berthing facilities with an existing water depth of 6 meters below chart datum. Number 10. Zwedru Zwedru is the capital of Grand Gede County, one of the 15 counties in Liberia. Zwedru is located in Chien district of Grand Gede County, near the Gafala River in the country's southern eastern region and near the border with Côte d'Ivoire. The town got its name after the head of a local Antieta Creek. Zwedru is surrounded by a lot of forests and lies in the tropical region. 
the northwestern section of Zwedru has an important forest region with rare bird species. Before the Liberian Civil War, Zwedru was known for timber production and its wood products industry. As of 2008, it was the largest settlement area east of Sestos River. The city is well planned with some claiming it to have the best road system and communication networks. There you have it explorers, those were the top 10 best places to visit in Liberia. Thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.